Man, we didn't even need a handprint. We just needed to break open that metal gate, which we have enough guns and, like, abilities to do. Like, we could have yeah. melted it. Whatever but, Jesse, it. let me tell you something about Ken Levine's message about invisible walls. <laughs> Ken Levine yeah. wants you to do random bullshit for 45 mm -hmm. minutes, only to then find out, oh, never mind. It didn't, all that bullshit didn't matter. Go do something else now, because now this is what's happening. And then you do I'm that. So and then you do new things you. and nothing you do matters you've booker dewatt has not accomplished anything in this game every time you're about to accomplish something you find out that was pointless now you have to do something totally new all right have any more terrible things you want to talk about to start any more like <laughs> what good, was the good... last one i don't remember there, your last intro was about lust season two something like that Oh. What was it no, called? No. Even I can't even remember. Lust Theory Season 2. Okay, thank you. There you go. Yeah. No, I don't, I don't have one of those, but I do have... Put the intro in here, Jeffrey. Your daily porn report with Jesse. <laughs> Does he even I still Jeffrey... have that? It's been so long. All right, here. I'll, I'll just do it all. Uh, da, 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 da. Your daily porn report with Jesse. All right, everybody, all all you favorite porn report listeners. I don't have a lot. I said I've been trying. Wait, should we do a like, trivia I... question before? Is this going to go on too oh, long? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> just, just interrupt my fucking porn report, Dan. That's fine. Go ahead. Um, this is for your benefit here. The categories, the it two is. that you didn't pick will stay the same, and the new one, let's say, is Steam. Steam. Okay. What were the other two, though? I don't remember. Um... Was it Flags? Can I do Flags again? You can't do Flags again. Oh, there was another, there was another things on my wall, and I don't remember <laughs> if we had another one. Okay. What? So my options are things on my wall or steam. Yeah, let's just make Correct. it too. Yeah. I I'm really scared to do things on my wall. I'll kill all these people. Um. He said so that as if it was debatable. Uh, like, yeah, I'm gonna kill. Him. I'll just do. I'll just do steam. I don't know. We'll see what steam says. Uh, you can give me my most played Great. game. On Steam. Now, this isn't hours. something I could just look up, right? Like, I couldn't figure this out from just, like, looking at your Steam. Maybe you could, but don't do that. Oh, I see. I'm not allowed to do that. That's, that's a bit you know, not fair. So what is it? Your your most played game? Uh-huh. Most hours played. Got it. I am looking at your Steam right now, but there's nothing I can discern from Oh, so that. you're trying to cheat. <laughs> I just went I just to your told profile. You, I just told you not to do that, and you proceeded to do it, and then admit <laughs> to doing it. I think you're disqualified automatically. No, 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 but it doesn't tell me anything. No, it I know you me. can't cheat, but you tried to. Let me guess anyway. Your most played game. Uh, it's probably not on Steam, right? It, it's probably like Blizzard game. It's probably like StarCraft. I told you on Steam. That's why it's Steam Blade. Oh. <laughs> okay. You fucking uh, imbecile. Most played game on Steam. Comstock has sabotaged our contraption. Yet we are not dead. A theory. Um, amongst the is it a Japanese game? But I'm not gonna answer your questions. And so I'm content. Uh the business with the girl lies. I'm resolved. gonna guess but perhaps there is one who can finish it. I'm gonna guess, like, what's the, like the most anime game that's ever existed? Maybe like anime furry waifu seven, more uwu for my poo-poo. Now I think you're not even trying to guess. You're just trying to pick a fight with me. Uh, I don't know, Dan. I have honestly Steam most played game. I'm okay. Here, here. You know what? I am gonna guess. Is it Team Fortress Two? No. It's Apex Legends. Oh, fuck. Really? How many hours of Apex Legends do you have? I, it was like 400 and something. 
I don't know that, actually. I just kind of guessed at the number. I do know it's my most played, because I, I just checked. So we just found out the Comstock was sterile, and she's not your mom, so... What did you mean before when you said Lady Comstock didn't belong here? She's almost... Alright, so I guess we can leave. So, Comstock was sterile, and she wasn't her mom, so... I don't... We don't know she where she She wasn't her from. mom. Lady Comstock wasn't her mom, and Comstock himself was sterile, so, like, we don't know where she came from. That's the mystery. Well, she's a weird fucking science experiment. I can do that. I don't know. I don't know why everyone would have accepted that she was his daughter in the first place. It was just some weird science experiment with magic powers. Oh. You just ate a pineapple out of like a cereal box. That's pretty wild. Uh, we need porn report. Oh, uh, yeah, back to the porn report. Nice, nice, good pans. Oh, dude, now we're just stuck with the money icon in the middle of the screen forever. If I'm just um, going to break this game. I've been trying to look for one for a while. Now, I did write down a couple things. First of all, there was a video, Dan, that I saw that was titled Mr. <laughs> Mr. Big Fat Dick. Mr. Mr. Big, Big Fat, Fat Dick. Mr. What a Big name, Fat right? Dick. Exactly. And he was like an Eastern European porn star. This was like a, not a very good, like, no, this wasn't like high quality, like American porn. This was like some shady Eastern European, like weird porn. How was and it the was dick, Mr. Though? Big Fat Dick. I did watch to see if it was a big fat dick, and it was not the biggest or fattest dick I've ever seen. It was, it well, was okay. a big dick. But it wasn't a big, it wasn't the biggest did he fat. earn the name in your mind? I would say no. I would say no. I think out of all the porn star, male porn stars that I know, the biggest, fattest dick I've ever seen is probably, um, probably either between, what's his name, Peter Green, the guy with the beard, the guy with the dark beard, I think either Peter Green or like, uh, I think his name's like Small Hands or something like that, Tiny Hands, he's got a big fat dick. Both of their dicks are, like, long, but I think they're fatter than they are long. Like, some guys just have, like... J-Mac has, like, a well-proportioned, like, penis throughout. It's long and it's fat, but it's, like, neither, like, the strongest of both those things. Whereas, like, um... Who's that, like, uh... The one, um, black porn star... I forget his name. Man Man Mantango or something like that? Manchango? Something like that? He has, like, the longest dick, but it's not the fattest dick. So that's how I would rate all the dick, in case you were wondering. I don't even remember how this conversation started, but was the porn report going somewhere? That's it. It was Mr. Big Fat Dick, but also, I did watch another porn the other day where the, um... <laughs> there, it was like a, it was like a brother-sister one, which is typically the case nowadays, like stepbrother or stepsister kind of thing. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And he was upset with her. Because she was putting her dildos and sex toys in the dishwasher to wash them. And she said the line, that. it's not a dildo, it's my best friend. And her mom and dad were like, yeah, let her put her dildos in the dishwasher. Which I kind of, I don't own any dildos personally, but like, I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do with it. I don't think they, they're dishwasher safe. No, and even if I they were think. your best friend, why would you put your best friend in the dishwasher? Instead of, like, lovingly, like, cleaning it with your hands. So then he fucked her, I guess, the brother. Then he fucked her, but that was just, like, the conflict. Like, there's always, there always is, has to be a conflict. Like, either, like, she has a crush on him, or he, he catches her, like, masturbating, or, um, a big one is, like, she wants him to do something and they're not getting along like he, she wants him to drive her to the mall or something and he's like i'll drive you to the mall if you suck my dick and then she's like ew like i don't want to suck your dick and then he's like oh yeah but well, you, you haven't seen there, how, can you? how how big and fat it is and then she sees how big and fat it is and then and then then it's the deal is done was it didn't last episode didn't ken levine has something to say about invisible walls yeah, Ken Levine said... No, 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 it's not... Okay, he wants to make it feel like... Um, <laughs> this is your Ken Levine report. 
he I, this was his big thing why he made Bioshock underwater and in the sky is because he wanted to make it like so there was no way that you could do anything else or question why you're going the way you're going Did Elizabeth just jump off the edge? Like, I swear I saw her, like, jump off the edge of there. Do you remember what you're doing here? Remember you went to that area and then you, I said, we'll come back there later. Oh, yeah. We're going to, like, the Bank of Columbia or something like that. In this, in the bad universe still. We're still in the bad universe. Ooh, two of these guys. Doesn't matter. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh. <laughs> Whenever <laughs> I get stop getting stun locked, I'll get you with my crows. I swear. That was fun. Step bro, stop stun locking me with your sky hook. We've already done that. Ew, Booker. Ew, Booker left his sky hook in the dishwasher again. <laughs> <laughs> It probably needs a good wash. Yeah. Hey, why is the skyhook not on my hand when I'm holding my gun, but then when I punch it is? Where is it coming from? It's holstered, like, on your hip. Like, you're a quick draw with that thing. That's pretty fucking quick. Well, where does your gun go? When you punch, your gun goes away, right? So, well, here's you, maybe what he I does. I could just be holding that in the other hand. Exactly. So, like, he's holding it in the other hand, and then he shoves it on your left, his left hand, like, like, a uh, fucking anime hero or something. But he that, shoves it on that would be so fucking quick. That's, like, this turnaround from no hook to hook. And that's why they called him Quick Draw McGee when he was in the Pinkerton. Quick Draw Booker. Quick Draw Booker Mr. Fat Cock himself. Well, they didn't have sky hooks back then. Yeah, but he was he was really quick with other things. He was like good at sleight of hand, stuff like that. Hard tricks, black magic. Have you ever like known a magician, like personally? I am a magician. <laughs> Are you really? Like you can do tricks. Mm -hmm. Like, would they fool, like, if if I invited you to get in my time machine with me and go back to, like, teach men pickup lines, you could also, like, teach them magic or, like... Well, I think they knew about them. card tricks back then, so I don't know how impressed they'd be, most of them. Like, that's all you can do is, like, sleight of hand card tricks? Mm-hmm. But, like, have you ever met somebody that, like, works as a magician, like, for their job? Like, known, like, somebody like that? No. And do those people even exist? Yeah, I, I actually know two of them. I knew a guy when I worked at summer camp that he went on. He was really like he did a lot of magic, but then he went on in his like future life to be just be a, a full time magician. Ooh, oh, that? that's not what we do. percent of everything people earn here goes right to Comstock as a tithe. I got to get me a job. Wow, that sounds crazy. Good. Need money? That's an insane tax. Like, you get to live in Colombia, but 50% of your fucking wage goes to Comstock. It, honestly, though, a city like this, 50% tax seems really high, but I feel like that's actually pretty reasonable. Right, I guess. See. I mean, I don't know. Right, like, there's a lot of people in this world that pay that much in taxes that just live on normal Earth. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so, like... Ah, uh, say what you will about Comstock. Try the typewriter again. Huh? You finally did a secret, and you didn't do it intentionally. It just kind of happened. Well, you told me to go do it. Well, they they said it. They they, they were talking about it. Oh, I wasn't. Yeah. Nice. Some money on the floor. Not that we're ever going to use it for anything. We have so much fucking money. Grab that lockpick. We might need it later. Just eating some oh, sandwiches from the. What were we even talking about before? That? Oh, magicians. And then in my other job, I knew a guy that was a full time magician. Like his job was to like walk around and entertain people with magic, mm -hmm. and like that was his job. Like he got paid to go and like bother people while they were just like doing their shit, and like be like, "Hey, do you want to see a magic trick?" 
And he was actually pretty good. He did some shit that I could not explain. Like, I was dumbfounded. Do you think he had made a deal with Satan? Um... It wasn't... Now it he, wasn't he that good. took some time to think about it there, so... <laughs> uh, he wasn't that good, but it was pretty... It wasn't like Chris and Angel, like, Mind Freak levels. But it was, like, enough that I did think, like, holy shit, like, how did he do that? Like, I wonder how he did that. How do you think that the Asian guy from, um... The old Chinese man from, uh, The Prestige did the, the fishbowl trick? I don't even remember it, to be honest with you. That was, like, an important part at the beginning. Like, him, like, Christian Bale and, like, Hugh Jackman both go to watch the Chinese man. And he puts, like, he, they, they think he holds it between his knees. But then, like, Hugh Jackman can't do it. And he's, like, a big strapping lad. And he's, like, man, this old Chinese man can't do that. There's no way. And, like, he was just, like, walking. He walks out on stage with, like, his little robe on. And then, like, he just gets, like, a fishbowl full of water. Like, and it just appears in front of him or some shit. And they're just throwing gear at you now. Oh, that could be kind of fun. The pants, though. I have the. I can't get rid of my pants. Yeah, I can't There's get rid of my pants. Cats. <laughs> you gotta fight this spooky crow Wait, man. He keeps running away. Catch his money. Yeah, he watched you fucking stunlock his, like, two best friends outside <laughs> the bank earlier. We don't know they were friends. They could have been rivals, right? Both trying to get the promotion to Head Crow. Oh. Head Crow. If you had to be one of, like, the archetypal, like, sub-bosses in this game, which one would you be, Dan? Probably the Crow guys. You asked me this before, and my answer has not changed. Was it? I asked you this before? Oh, we gotta do this, I guess. There he is. Still doesn't want to fight you. Just let me... Big mistake. Big mistake. You should have just kept running forever. Um... I wish you could pick up his sword. Like, that yeah. is my, my only regret in this game. It is kind of the sky. The only is like, regret. My only regret. I've got a lot of regrets. of herself and my feelings towards her what do you mean i'm just so angry at her so i think what we just heard was somebody setting up like fink to like cause an accidental death of the lutessa sure i understand mm -hmm. herself well they had a crazy science experiment going on at their house what'd you come over here for candy bar can I leave? Oh, there's a ghost now. I heard her screaming. Definitely a spooky ghost somewhere. Oh, here we go. Thank you. We gotta do another ghost fight. I don't know what is going on fight. in this game. Man, I wish I would've gotten the fucking trivia right so we could fly through this ghost fight. You gotta give me easier questions, Dan. I thought that one was pretty easy. Yeah, I didn't really think about Apex being launched through Steam, though. That wasn't a connection I made initially. I mean, you, have you played Apex recently, or no? No, it's dead. It's dead. Like, they're up for a new season, right? Like, do they have a new hero? I don't know. Stuff? Like, they already have the Goo Monster. Like, what's next? The monster. Oh, the 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 trans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
lady that makes you appear. Yeah, the feral fluid. I don't know. The, what is what it the called? Fuck? The feral fluid? <laughs> she just dropped you from the sky. That was pretty cool, I guess. Did Elizabeth kill everybody now? Maybe that's the trick. Just get dropped from the ceiling? I hear spooky ghost noises. Where is she? She's gonna jump out and fucking jump scare us. How does she sound like a beehive? That was the uh, equivalent of the crow ability in the original Bioshock, was the bees. You would get bees that you could shoot out of your hand. Which is pretty cool. I about, it, I, if I had to choose between bees or crows, though, I'd still probably pick the crows. Yeah, I like the crows more, I think. I was saying this before we started finding the ghost, but like in the other Bioshock games, there's also the like equivalent of the Skyhook. It's either in the first Bioshock game, it's a wrench, and you can just spec into just straight wrench build in that game. And then in the second Bioshock game, you you are a big daddy. So you, the, the, my favorite one by far, you just get a big fuck off drill. That's like su like it's better than a Skyhook even. Like you can just straight spec in the drill. And then you just run around and fucking throw people to death. Why awesome. is this game so bad then? I can think yeah. no comparison. I think you would like Bioshock 2 better than all the other Bioshocks. It is the weakest as far as like story, but it has just like generally I think the most fun gameplay. It has like the best enemy types and like fighting arenas. But the problem is I'm never gonna play another Bioshock game again. Yeah, we can't do it after this one. I feel like even you who like this game. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know why. I had a feeling that I was like, oh, we should we should do Bioshock Infinite. Like, Dan's never played that. And then, like, like literally, like, episodes after Star Wars, I was like, man, I regret this. This is a bad, bad decision. But we're getting through it. We could just quit right now. I don't think we can. We have to end it. We have to why? see it through. I wouldn't mind. We're so we're so close to the end. Don't tempt me like this, dude. We have to finish. I mean, it's not like the conclusion is gonna mean anything to me anyway. That's true, but we we are almost at the end, so we might as well. Where am I going? Um, we gotta follow the ghost footprints, right? I don't know where they are. Just the barbecue. Just the man barbecue. Find the final tear. Oh, I know where it is. It's in front of. It's in front of that. Remember where we put her hand in the thing, and it was like, no, it's not you. Like uh -huh. that's where we need to get. Oh, okay. So that's over this way. But nothing Man, matters about... that we do. Game what is just like constantly moving the goal? We we did hear though, like um. We did talk about like Mr. Big Fat did. Like, damn, uh -huh. what is, what is a, what is a word that like a woman like imagine you get like a a nice fine lady and you take her back to your place. Uh huh. And As I some, do every day. And some shenanigans ensue. What is like one word she could use like sexually to like talk about your penis that would instantly turn you off? Like, is there anything that would you, you would just be like you would draw the line at? Okay, but it has to be something that someone could conceivably say, or just anything. Like, where do you draw the line? Like, maybe she just has, like, a sailor mouth, or, like, she just says something weird. Like, if I hear the word cock, I get a little bit upset. Like, I don't like the word cock very much. Really? If somebody was like, give me your cock. Your cock. I'd be like, eh, I don't know about this. Oh, here we go. We found it anyway. Free shotgun. Okay, so they didn't die. They're still ghosts. I think there was gear in the back office, but I, I already got it. We've already been in there. 
Oh, okay. Sorry. Too busy, like, talking about Mr. Big Fat Dick. Well, I got it last episode. Flat cannon, Dan. Watch out for the flat cannon. Ooh. Flat cannon's like Make the it. least threatening thing they could have. Yeah, it is. I don't think we've ever picked up one of these or shot it, but it's pretty dumb. It's like a little like. Dude, this guy's you know. unstunnable. Fuck me. What are the odds? Watch out, flat cannon. <gasps> Shit, we did a finisher. Crazy. As long as you guys don't have any snipers, we're good. Mm -hmm. Snipers are our greatest nemesis. Mostly because they go in areas where we can't go. And then it's a, a mess trying to find... Trying to figure out a way I can get up the bunch of them. And anyone who knew the truth was better dead than alive. So what's the truth, Dan? Here's the truth. No. Comstock is nobody in the world deserves that. He's everywhere. So even though we're going to all these different universes, maybe it's always the same Comstock. He's fucking nuts. And mm -hmm. he's using these Rift Terror powers to his benefit somehow, so he can rule over all these Columbias. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's also me. I am Comstock, right? We've already established that in the past. We're the future. Whatever. Wait, wait, wait. You established that Comstock and Booker DeWater are the same person? Or I thought you just said Booker was the bad guy. He is the bad guy. He... Or... I, I had established that I would be the bad guy from a different universe. But now there haven't been enough other characters introduced that it has to be Comstock somehow is me from the future mm -hmm. different universe who's doing from all the these future. things okay, and he yeah, yeah, used yeah. elizabeth to make all this possible okay because maybe there's only well, the one elizabeth she's not in every universe either what we did learn this is just kind of like i'm not saying you're wrong like you have some pretty good guesses here but we're, the big piece of the puzzle I think we're missing here is, is that the terrors existed from the Lutesses before Elizabeth existed. So the well, then, terrors okay. are kind of... They just they the, made them, those weird scientists. The Lutesses made the terrors. You ready for one more ghost fight? I'm not. Fight the ghost, Dan. Fight these ghosts. Oh shit, this guy's got like a lion's face. Fucking Simba's fucking you up. Got summoned in a weird way, yeah. Speaking of Simba, Dan, what do you think of the new like Disney live action movies? Like, have you seen any of them? I mean, they're just kind what? of shit, right? Like, why are they? They're not... Why do they exist? Yeah, I guess they're not particularly bad movies. They're perfectly fine. But yeah, they don't add anything new. So it's kind of like, why? Why? If I feel anything, like... they just... Yeah. They could have... If they would have done something different and made them, like, not the same, that would have been one thing. But they just remade the same movies live action. But, but they, a little bit they worse. They did do that, though. They did that with, like, Maleficent. Remember? Like, Maleficent was, like, about, like, how Maleficent wasn't the bad guy. And, like, the whole story was, like, contrived to make it, like, oh, no, like, it wasn't her fault. Like, it was just kind of, well, like, Well, Maleficent doesn't really count because that's not, as, like, it was a popular movie before the live-action one. I'm talking about, like, the real ones that people cared about. That is a popular... We've talked about, like, for some reason, you have, like, this hate boner for Maleficent. But, like, I, no, 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 I don't... Jesse, if someone, if you were to ask someone to name like the most popular Disney movies, no one would have said Melissa. Okay, I mean, well, Sleeping Beauty, right? Again, yes, but that's kind of like Sleeping Beauty is one of. The, she's in that like old generation where everyone knows about it, but no one's quite mm -hmm. remembered what happened in the movie. Yeah, almost like your favorite Hollow Live, like. Like she's like an old old lady. Like she's been in the game too long. Everybody's kind of forgotten about her except for you. Huh? She can't keep up with the young Gen Z Hollow live streamers. 
I don't know what comparison you're trying to make. Well, but, you're just saying like older gen. Like you like the one girl, Sakura or whatever, and she's like first gen, like all alive. Oh, zero gen. But yeah, I know what you mean. You see, zero gen. So that's like the Sleeping Beauty equivalent. Like you think but she still has it's abstraction? Not, it's not quite because she's still, I would argue, one of the most popular ones. Sleeping Beauty, on the other hand, is just kind of like no one really cares about Sleeping Beauty. Mm -hmm. She gets poked by like a sewing machine thing. What was it? A uh, uh, on your 16th birthday, you will touch the spindle. Yeah. The spindle. <laughs> is that is? It's it's whatever that big thing is, and it's like, what is yeah. going on with it? This is not a good one. It did, but Melissa turns into a big dragon, and she has, like, a bunch of goblins that follow her, which is kind of cool. I like that. Yeah, again, so I can appreciate them trying to do something new with that one. But to my point with all the other ones, they just remade uh -huh. the same movie. And it's like, why? I've already seen this movie. But Maleficent was bad, though. That movie was bad. Like, like that was objectively bad. It, okay. Like, the other ones are also not great. But it that one was, was but at least they tried something. At least yeah. there was, like artistic merit to doing this well in the new uh beauty and the beast they made lefou gay i guess that would you call that like an, an addition to i the wouldn't formula? i couldn't have told you if he was gay in the original because he wasn't even a character yeah he didn't like he wasn't like oh gaston like my dick is so hard for you like like he could he could have been gay or not that's one of those things i don't care about yeah it wasn't the point Man, we didn't even need a handprint. We just needed to break open that metal gate, which we have enough guns and, like, abilities to do. Like, we could have yeah. melted it with our But, fire. Jesse, let me tell you something about Ken Levine's message about invisible walls. <laughs> Ken Levine yeah. wants you to do random bullshit for 45 mm -hmm. minutes, only to then find out, oh, never mind, it didn't, all that bullshit didn't matter. Go do something else now, because now this is what's happening. And then you do I'm that. So and then you do new things you. and nothing you do matters you've booker dewatt has not accomplished anything in this game every time you're about to accomplish something you find out that was pointless now you have to do something totally new yep this isn't a good story there's no Dude, coherent I'm, plot running through this i'm so excited for you to walk like 30 feet forward i have, I have not played this game before but now i'm absolutely certain anyone who tries uh -huh. to say one that elizabeth is a good character or two mm -hmm. that this game has a good story is out of their fucking mind <laughs> the game the game can be fun the actual gameplay i've got nothing against that mm -hmm. the game can still be good this story is a fucking mess mm, it is a mess i i agree with that and elizabeth oh, is the worst i hate her I do like Elizabeth. Like, I, I don't hate Elizabeth. She's, She's fucking so trash. She's <laughs> He's fucking trash. I can't stand her. She's probably the worst companion I've had with me in any game I've played in recent memory. Oh, wow. I wish worst she was mon gone. Monkey Year Ashley. From Resident Evil 4? I'm just 4? kidding. I know you love Ashley. And Ashley is actually a good companion. Yeah, Ashley's so. a good companion. She does what you tell her to. Unlike this wrench-wielding it... psychopath. They took away her monkey ears, though. Did you watch the trailer for the remake? She no. doesn't have monkey ears anymore. She has, like, her hair covers her ears, and I don't think she's wearing a skirt anymore, so you can't, like, do, like, a cheeky upskirt where she's like, Ew, what are well, you the, at, you know? Ashley wears a suit of armor when I play. So she <laughs> yeah. can't be carried away. So this, she can't episode, get picked up. this episode's over, though. Do your bad, oh, wow. do your dumb, dumb, even worse outro. No, 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 no. It's better this time. There's improvements. I've tweaked the formula a little bit. All right. So you're you're Papa Dan, right? You live in the Pokemon universe. You're married. You have a wife. You have kids. You you have a daughter. Your okay. daughter's a teenager, and she's like, Dad, like, Dad, like, I brought home my newest boyfriend. Like, his name is. And now, okay, you have to choose between these three three different boyfriends, all right? First, yeah. there's Chad, the fighting type gym leader. And he has a Machamp that he, he just like trains. Whoa, whoa, he's day. the gym leader already? Yeah, yeah. And my all of them are gym daughter leaders. is dating him? How old is he? All of them are gym leaders. They're all like 17. Okay, so they're, oh, that's, so he's got a pretty good head on his shoulders. So there's Chad, the fighting type gym leader, okay? Uh huh, okay. Then 
then there's the bug type gym leader. His name is uh, Andre, and he's got glasses. He's a little bit more of a nerd. He's a bit, a little bit more of a shy boy, but he likes to study bugs. Like you, you know the type. Like he kind of looks like that guy from Yu Gi Oh that has all the bug cards. <laughs> Do you know what you're talking about? Okay, does he stop? Why? <laughs> what? Why? Why? Why is what? it that for the first guy? Uh huh. The first guy, you're like, okay, his name is Chad. He's a fighting type gym leader. Moving uh -huh. on. Now let's talk about Andre. <laughs> you're giving me his whole life story. <laughs> No, Why just, is there right. so much more information about Andre than Chad? Because you could just imagine Chad. He's a big, beefy man, and he, like, wrestles with his Machamp. Like, and the Machamp doesn't live in the ball, so you have to live with that. So when he has okay. sex with your daughter, he also, like, the Machamp may or may not be involved. Like, you don't know. <laughs> now, I, now you're adding a lot more to Chad as compared to Andre. But, okay, give me uh -huh. the third guy for this goes on any longer. The third guy is he's his name is his name is um his name is Dark Man. <laughs> he's the dark type gym leader. And he's like all emo and he's got like he wants you to call him Dark Man, even though his real name is Eric. And he's got like emo haircut. He kind of looks like Jared Leto a little bit from Thirty Seconds to Mars. And he, he's very like everything he says is like he talks like the emo kids from South. I Park. think it oh, says a lot bro. about a person. I can't even believe whenever it. whenever you say Jared Leto, if you refer to him as the guy from 30 seconds to Mars, I respect you more than if you're like, oh, Jared <laughs> Leto, the actor. Yeah, well, I, I was just saying that. Well, I, I do. I do refer to him as Jared Leto from 30 seconds to Mars, but it's because I want you to think about what he looked like before he became a bad actor, like that kind of like emo. So, like, you have to pick between Dark Man, Andre, and Chad. Which one do you would you respect for dating your daughter? Uh, definitely not the bug type trainer. Mm hmm Just because that's Andre, pick a better type. Put that away. Mm -hmm. Uh, probably the Dark. Yeah, you would go with Dark Man? <laughs> I think Dark is just a better type in general than fighting. Yeah, well, it's is it is weak to fight. So sort of like Chad might beat him up, but you would have to have his back, even though. Maybe unless he just has like a spear to him, and then it's like fuck off. Yeah, then you can't touch that. The, pr the problem with fighting with is there's camp. it's all physical. There's not really any special attackers yeah, except like Lucario, that. oddly enough. Lucario though, Lucario's so cool. I mean, he's better as a physical. Oh wait, I forgot this episode's ending. All right, yeah. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Wait to see how the story redirects us next time.